Alrighty, <clears throat> welcome to Bentley's Backwoods Bushcrafting. Uh, we're going to uh, burn wood in this uh, <clears throat> handmade uh, Dollar, Dollar Tree <clears throat> stove that I made. Well, okay. A little bit of fuel there. All right, so so we're gonna start this uh, little stove up that I made from uh, the Dollar Tree cookie sheets. And I was asked to uh, see what it looked like with wood burning in it and if it would hold up. So I'm just gonna keep burning this wood in here until either I run out of wood or it burns up. So we're gonna sit here and we're just gonna find out if uh, it, it can take it. Uh, my newest subscriber, Scout for Life, has asked me to uh, see what this uh, works would work like if I used wood in it. The last time I actually used a little alcohol stove, <clears throat> but uh, he wanted to know what it would be like if I burnt wood in it and would it would it warp? Would it tear up? What would happen? So uh, we're going to burn as much of this wood as we possibly can. And we're going to find out what would happen, because to be totally honest, I don't know. But we'll find out. I'll let it burn until it either burns that thing up, or until I run out of wood. And, uh, that's the amount of wood I've got. Now, the first one I did, this is actually the second one. The first one that I did, I ended up spray painting. And I actually gave it away, but I spray painted it just to kind of add a little bit of uh, protection on it. I don't know if it'll help or if it won't help, but uh, I'm not spray painting this one right now because Scout for Life was wanting to know if it would warp or hold up. So we're going to find out. Trying to get this fire as hot as possible just to see how much it'd take to actually damage this uh, stove. I think it's doing pretty good myself.
I'll put some more lamp oil on it just to make it make it burn a little better. There we go. If that ain't gonna jack it up, I don't know what will. So when I run out of this wood, and if it hasn't been messed up yet, I'll just put it in a pit fire and see how that works. Burning pretty good. That's warm. <laughs> I'm keeping warm, although it's hot out here and I don't need warmth. But just that fire itself would keep my shelter pretty nice. And we'll see how that works. Back up, that's fire. Yep, yeah. hey. Go all the way around there. Go all the way around there. And come over on this side. Oh, keep going over. Okay, you can come up you can come over this way. Stay over this side. There you go. Come on. There you go. Yeah. Fire. Don't fire. <coughs> I'm doing a burn test. A burn test? Yep. Seeing how much it can take. On that? Mm-hmm. Uh, you need it again. I come down that side now. I noticed you came down that side. Nana. 
That hurts Nana. Does that hurt Nana? Yeah. Fire? Yeah. Mm. Fire hurts everybody. Yeah, me too. Yeah. You have a knife? I have several knives. Two scissors? And scissors? Yeah. I have some scissors. Are the scissors, are the hammers, are two hammers? Okay, hold on. Stand right over here, buddy. Nope, don't. You just stand right here and don't move. Alrighty, so let me move this a little bit closer here. As you can see, it's still burning, but the flame is pretty well out. So, what I'm going to do is let this cool down and uh, cool down. And then we'll come back out here and we'll take a look at it. And after that, if it's not all jacked up, I'll make a big old bonfire here and we'll just toss it in the bonfire and we'll see what that does to it. Yeah, I'll just take. Alrighty, so it's, uh, it's cooled down. So anyway, it's cooled down, and there's nothing but ashes in there. It still hasn't uh, warped it or altered it in any way. It's still extremely functional. Um, it is dark. It got burnt. But it's not warped or nothing. So, uh, what I'm going to do... Drop the ashes down in there. As you can see, still just fine. So what I'm going to do is I'll pile wood on it. Let's see here. So I'll pile some wood on it. And I'll start a bonfire on top of it. We'll see if we can't jack it up in that manner. I'll get right back with you. Alrighty, so uh, so that you can see that I'm actually going to leave this down in there. I'm just going to throw this wood on it. It's not going to be anything big or important. Doesn't, you know, I'm just going to throw this stuff on here. Just a bunch of stuff I've got left. It's not uh, not a great deal. I'll put this stuff right here. Put that in there. And I'm not worrying about making a uh, decent campfire where I'm going to have to work on getting it lit because I'm not. Because I'm just going to douse it with some oil and just set it on fire. So it doesn't have to be small sticks, medium sticks, and big sticks. And any of that so anyway there we go with that 
across the camera there. So, uh, dump a So it's not quite going up as quickly as I was wanting, so let's encourage it. A little bit of uh, liquid encouragement. There we go. That should work. Now I'm going to let that just burn. And once it's done, we'll uh, sift through it and we'll pull out the... Uh, the stove and we'll see what that did to it alrighty so it's pretty close to being burnt down as you can see it's still sitting in there so when it's completely completely burnt up and cool I'll go dig it out and we'll take a look at it Alrighty, there's still a little bit of smoke down there. I don't know if you'll be able to to see it, but there's a little bit of smoke coming off of uh, off of that. We're gonna see if it's still a little warm. It is a little warm. So. Uh, it's a tad bit warm as you can see it's still it does look like it may be a little bit Woo! okay that's really hot yeah it does look like it may be a little bit maybe a little bit twisted from where it was but uh, that's still extremely I don't see any real real damage to it there's nothing wrong with it and uh, I think it's still completely usable it might be a little bit lopsided but uh, I that works that works fine uh, it's still a little toasty and I can't just uh, hold it and manipulate it around because it, it's still a little bit warm uh, ah, okay it's a little hot but uh, to me that's a go uh, let, let me know what you think and uh, I think I put it through uh, considerably more than it would be uh, on normal use. Uh, there wasn't really any reason why I needed to bury it in a fire pit and torch it. But uh, I, think, uh, I think it shows that this, that this stove will work. It will maintain use and it was only a dollar from the Dollar Tree cookie sheet. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching Bentley's Backwoods Bushcraft and enjoy the outdoors.